Hi, Peggy. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Uh, thank you for sitting down with us again. Oh, it's my pleasure. Yeah. Well, so we, we, we spoke a great deal yesterday about the SSR early days of S.H.I.E.L.D. Today we'd, uh, we'd like to move on to... Steve Rogers? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, what was uh, your initial reaction when you heard about Project Rebirth? I thought it was lovely, in the same way that Peter Pan is lovely, or Knights of the Round Table. <laughs> <laughs> so you were you were skeptical. Oh, to put it mildly. But yeah. then I met Dr. Erskine and Howard Stark, yeah. and then finally Rogers. And I must say, my opinion changed somewhat after that. At, at first, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but the intention was to create an entire army of super soldiers, correct, right? Yes, but uh, Rogers nearly made up for that discrepancy himself. Many of his exploits are still classified. Well, not every hero gets a parade. I think that's how Rogers preferred it. Suffice it to say, the world would be a very different place if he hadn't been there to protect it. Did Captain America have an effect on you personally? I, I beg your pardon? I'm, I'm sorry, I just mean it uh, must have been a remarkable experience uh, getting to work with him. Well, a life in the military demands a certain amount of detachment, particularly from a woman. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it is, it's necessary to give and to receive orders without dwelling on the cost of the individual. The, the mission trumps all. Steve uh, never let me forget that these were real lives and, and real deaths that we were dealing with. He also treated me like a, a person, <laughs> which I very much appreciated. I recently spoke to several soldiers who credited Captain America with saving their lives. Oh, yeah, well, there are a lot of men that could give you that interview. This was... This was outside Volgograd, 1945. Yes, that was a difficult winter. We were in, in Russia. A blizzard had trapped half our battalion behind the German line. Steve, Captain Rogers, he fought his way through a Hydra blockade that had pinned our allies down for months. He saved over a thousand men including the man who would uh, who would become my husband, as it turned out. Even after he died, Steve was still changing my life. I understand that you were the last person to speak to Captain Rogers before his plane went down. I was, yeah. <clears throat> Could you tell us what he said? <laughs> 